Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today, we're checking out a new wireless in-ear monitor system from Sennheiser. Let's get started. Today, we're looking at the XS wireless in-ear monitor system from Sennheiser. Now, this is a complete system that includes transmitter, receiver, in-ears, everything that you need to get started, and it comes in at a great price. In-ears have become very popular lately and for a lot of good reasons. I mean, they just make things so much easier when you're on stage or in the studio for that matter. It allows you to operate at a lower volume level on stage, so it's easier to mix the sound and to get a cleaner sound out front through the front of house. We also get a cleaner sound on stage because there's not so much bleed among the microphones because again, the volume level can be lower on stage and we don't have monitors blasting that sound back toward us. We get excellent isolation because you're sealed into those in-ears so you're not hearing as much on stage. You get a cleaner image inside your ears. You get true stereo imaging. You can operate at a lower volume level so it also helps to protect your hearing as well. So these are all good reasons to go with in-ear monitors. And there are two ways you can go. You can go with a wired in-ear system, which basically has a cable that you plug in, or you can go with a wireless system like we have here today. Now I can tell you, using a wired system on stage can be sort of a pain, particularly if you're a guitar player. Then you've got two cables that are tethering you. If you're stepping up to sing at a microphone, you're trailing two cables behind you. Not super convenient. A wireless system is a much better way to go for your in-ear monitoring. And Sennheiser has made it very easy and very affordable with this XS in-ear wireless monitor system. The system begins with the transmitter. This is the IEM SR. It's a half rack space unit, very rugged, very lightweight, and very easy to use as well, as we'll see in just a minute. On the receiver side, we have the IEM EK wireless belt pack. This is very lightweight, but again, very rugged, and again, very easy to use, as we'll see. For the actual monitoring, we have the IE4 in-ear monitors. These are great sounding in-ear monitors, very lightweight, but they seal nicely in your ears and give you great clean sound. To complete the system, we get the antenna for the receiver. We get a rack mount kit, so you can load up either one or two of these into a single rack space. We also get two AA batteries for driving the receiver. And of course, we get the power supply for powering the transmitter. So it's everything you need to get started right out of the box. Just hook up your signal that's coming into the transmitter and you're ready to go. Speaking of getting audio into the transmitter, on the back of the IEMSR, we have two inputs. Those are on XLR or quarter inch, so they're compatible with a wide range of gear. A nice feature on the SR is that we also have a headphone jack on the front panel with its own volume control. This allows you to do a confidence check to make sure your audio is getting into the transmitter properly. The system operates in the professional UHF range, and we have preset, easily selectable frequencies for locking up the two units together. We also have a sync feature that allows you to use multiple receivers with a single transmitter. Let's start with the IEM SR and look at how easy it is to set this unit up. Everything you need is available right here on the front panel. Up down arrows, a set button, and a sync button. We have just a few parameters that we need to access from the front panel and we access those using the set button. So if we press that once, we can set the unit for either stereo or mono operation. Press again and we can adjust the gain in 3 dB increments. Once we have those locked in, press to move down to the preset menu. And we have two settings here as well. The first are our preset frequencies. And we can step up and down through those. If we press again, we can move through the individual frequencies. Once our frequencies are set, we can move down to tune. And this gives us fine tune access to our frequencies. For the final setting on the front panel, we hit the sync button. Now in sync mode, we're able to transmit to multiple receivers at the same time. It locks them all together. The only other control on the front panel is the volume control for the headphone output. To power up the receiver, we turn up the volume knob, pass the click, it'll tell us it's on, the screen will light up, and now we open the front panel, which also gives us access to the batteries and our set control for moving among the parameters. If we press that once, we're accessing our preset frequency. We can move through frequencies here, just like on the transmitter. If we press again, we can access the limiter. Now this sets a ceiling for the volume level and helps to protect your hearing. Pressing one more time accesses the EQ and this is a high frequency boost and this will help with intelligibility and articulation in your earphones. Another press brings up focus mode. In focus mode, the receiver basically operates in dual mono. The signal is mixed down to mono inside the stereo and then broadcast to both the left and the right. It's slightly different than putting the transmitter into mono transmit mode, which just sends a single channel. In this case, it sends both channels, but you're hearing both of them in both ears. Press again, and we can adjust pan inside the earphones, left to right. And finally, we have fine control over the frequencies for the receiver as well. 
Overall, the system has a frequency response from 45 Hz to 15 kHz, with total harmonic distortion of less than 0.9%. Our signal to noise ratio is greater than 88 dB, so this is a nice clean system for use on stage and in the studio. With the included IE4 earphones, we have frequency response from 40 Hz to 20 kHz and a max SPL of 106 dB, plenty loud for most situations. If I can offer one suggestion for a nice upgrade, this is the IE100 Pro earphone system. Now these offer a max SPL up to 115 dB and at the same time they offer 26 dB of isolation from the outside world. They've got frequency response from 20 Hz to 18 kHz and they have a detachable cable. In fact you can pull this cable off and install one that allows you to use these as Bluetooth earphones. So these make a nice upgrade if you want to get even better sound quality out of your XS wireless in-ear system. I've been spending some time listening to the XS wireless in-ear system and it sounds fantastic both with the IE4 earphones and with the upgraded IE100 Pros. Sounds fantastic, plenty of range, it's nice and clean, plenty of power, plenty of volume, nice isolation, and it comes in at a great price. If you're looking for an in-ear wireless system for stage or for studio, be sure to give this one a very close look. Thanks for joining me today, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at Sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.